Item number SCP-5331. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. Due to the size of SCP-5331 and its geological location, remote satellite data of SCP-5331 should be the main source of information. The Pacific Observational Teams and Atlantic Observational Teams should be headquartered at Site-40 and maintain constant contact. Due to the enormous amount of SCP-5331-A generated, normal Foundation procedures regarding biological disposal are not suitable for containment. In addition, due to the non-anonymous nature of SCP-5531-A, Usage of civilians to dispose and consume SCP-5531-A is allowed. Civilian consumption of SCP-5531-A is to be used as the dominant method of controlling the population of SCP-5531-A to prevent a containment breach of SCP-5531. Breach in this case would constitute overwhelming other local oceanic populations due to uncontrolled growth of SCP-5531-A. See additional addendum for updates regarding the consumption of SCP-5531-A. Description SCP-5531 is a series of widespread volcanic events found at tectonic plate boundaries in the oceans of the Northern Hemisphere, including along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the northern portions of the Ring of Fire. SCP-5531-A are species of fish in the order Salmonomophomus, which includes char, trout, and most importantly, salmon. All species of salmon, including Onychonychus, Samo, and Salmonomophomus, are believed to be part of SCP-5531-A. While difficult to verify, it is believed that all species of salmon are instances of SCP-5531-A, and there does not exist salmon that is not a result of SCP-5531. The main anomaly affecting SCP-5531 is that mature instances of SCP-5531-A are continuously observed to exit SCP-5531 due to the sheer number of vents in both oceans. The number of SCP-5531-A generated per day across the ocean is estimated to be around 10,000, accounting for around 14 million metric tons of biomass per year, despite no clear origin. Genetic testing revealed that SCP-5531-A had very little generic variation among its own species. Despite this, SCP-5531-A still undergo sexual reproduction, with female instances producing valuable roe that is considered a delicacy. Testing revealed that while SCP-5531-A have anomalous origins, there are no other observable anomalies associated. Consumption of SCP-5531-A is deemed safe. The North Atlantic anomaly of SCP-5531 was well known by Norwegian fishermen for hundreds of years, who mistakenly assumed that cave dwelling is part of salmon ecology. The true nature of SCP-5531-A was not understood until observation of scp Beep blocked off civilian fishing vessels from the Bering Islands for several years, in which the exponential population explosion of salmon led to the discovery, linking the Pacific anomaly to the Atlantic one. Due to the widespread popularity of salmon, the Overseer Council voted almost unanimously 12 to 1 to allow civilian disposal methods. The sheer amount of biomass generated each year from SCP-5531 would be impossible to achieve only using the Foundation's resources. The O5 Council has mandated that containment of SCP-5531 would mainly consist of data observation, 
as well as population control of SCP-5531-A. Consumption is encouraged for SCP-5531-A as the most effective method of limiting the number of SCP-5531-A. Addendum Relevant Memorandum Regarding Containment From Site 40 Subject Memo Regarding SCP-5531 Sound consumption has slumped in recent years due to the concerns of heavy metal and mercury poisoning. This is believed to be a deliberate campaign by unknown actors attempting to cause a containment breach of SCP-5531 by overpopulation. Terms such as biomagnification, bioaccumulation, and mercury cycle are to be monitored in usual web crawling services to determine perpetrators. Investigation into memetic propaganda is under review. Salmon consumption is still in decline, especially in countries outside of East Asia, North America, and Scandinavia. Promotion of culinary styles from these regions to regions with currently falling consumption numbers, like memetic propaganda, is authorized. As a measure of control, embedded field agents should encourage consumption of salmon and salmon byproducts, or include salmon in other industrial usages. Recent media increasingly have seen unknown actors attempting to use environmentalism as a threat to affect seafood consumption, citing overfishing and possible extinction. This is judged to not be true. The population growth of SCP-5531-A is not at risk, and in fact grows too fast. Reduction of SCP-5531-A is a priority. A recent decline in consumption of SCP-5531-A is linked to recent fad diets such as veganism and vegetarianism. More investigation is needed as of this anomalous disdain for SCP-5531-A. Use of force is authorized. From Site 40, Subject Memo regarding O53. Consumption of SCP-5531-A is safe. O53 was not allergic to fish. There is no such thing as a seafood allergy.